Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about Google Cloud Run service. Yes, friend, in this tutorial, we'll understand what is Google Cloud Run service, how can we use it, where can we use it, what is the use case of this Google Cloud Run service, what is the similar service we have in AWS Cloud. So we'll understand this service in detail today and I will also show you a deployment of containerized API application into Google Cloud Run service. We will deploy one containerized API service in Google Cloud Run service. I'll show you that step by step. So stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end. It is going to be very, very exciting and very informative tutorial. If you want to learn Google Cloud, if you want to learn Cloud Run service, then this is a tutorial for you. So stay with me and watch this tutorial till end. There's no agenda here. Okay friends, so here is the agenda of this tutorial today. I'll be explaining you what is Cloud Run serverless service, when to use it, how to use it, all of that we'll understand and how it is different from any other cloud provider services, right? Then I'll explain you what we are trying to run and demonstrate. So I'll explain you that with architecture. Then I'll show you how to upload the container image to Docker Hub repository, how to set up Google Cloud Run service, how to deploy and run API container image in Cloud Run service, and then testing the API running in a Cloud Run service. So this is a very simple agenda. We'll stick to this agenda today for this tutorial. Okay, friends. Okay friends, so now very first question comes to our mind. What is Cloud Run service and what is serverless service, right? Cloud Run is a serverless service. That is, you need not to worry about the infrastructure. The infrastructure will be managed by the cloud provider. So any serverless service you take, right? Be it Google Cloud, or Amazon or Azure, right? They all provide the serverless services. In AWS, have a Fargate as a serverless service. In Google, we have a Cloud Run as a serverless service. And in Azure, we have Azure Function as a serverless service, right? So every cloud provider provides you some other serverless services, right? So what is the advantage we get out of the serverless services? The very first advantage that we get we need not to worry about the infrastructure. It is completely managed by the cloud provider. It easily scale up and scale down as per your traffic requirement. The classic example of such services are like when you run the scheduled jobs, uh, event based jobs, right? Right friends. Okay. Coming back to the topic of cloud run. Cloud run is a fully managed serverless service provided by Google that enables you to run a stateless container. Cloud run is a serverless hence it's abstract away all the infrastructure management. As I said, you need not to worry about the infrastructure and all the infrastructure management is the cloud responsibility. Cloud Run automatically scales up and scales down depending on the traffic conditions. Cloud Run is a regional service and automatically replicated across the multiple zones. So you need not to worry about disaster recovery or replication or, or backup. So it is taken care completely by the cloud provider and we can deploy a container image from various sources in Cloud Run. First is, if you have a container image in the same project in Google Cloud, or if you have an image in other Google Cloud project with the provided IAM permissions, or we can deploy a container image from any public registry like Docker Hub and so on. Right friends, I hope the concept of Cloud Run serverless service is now clear. What? I can, I, I do, I do not understand. Why to use it is now clear to you. Now I'll show you how to use it. Let me take you to the Google Cloud Platform login and then I'll explain you step by step how to set up and run our containerized application in Cloud Run. Okay friends, but before that, let's see a architecture diagram. Okay friends, so here is the architecture diagram that I am going to demonstrate today. I have a Google Cloud Platform. 
Now in Google Cloud Platform, I'll be running a Google Cloud Run service. It is provided by Google. And in that, we'll be deploying a containerized application, which is Node containerized application. So we'll be deploying this container application, this container image in Google Cloud Run service. Okay, friends. And as this application is running on port 8080, hence we will be opening the port 8080 that we will see in the configuration. And then as a user, I'll be hitting the endpoint of my API running inside Google Cloud Run service. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, so let's go to Google Cloud Platform and I'll show you step by step how to set up Google Cloud Run service. Okay, friends. I'll show you how can you deploy a containerized application in Google Cloud Run service. Just before that, you must have one containerized application with you. I have this image I have created and I'm running it my local Docker PS. Yes, it is running. So it is running on 80 port. What I'll do is I'll just quickly hit this API and see if I'm getting the hello world response, right? Okay, so HTTP localhost 8080, right? Yes, so I'm getting hello world. That means my containerized application is working fine. So now next step is upload this image to a Docker Hub repository. So Docker Hub repository is nothing but where you can upload all your images and then you can use those images into any of your favorite cloud. So what I'll do is I'll upload this image into a Docker Hub repository. So I have a Docker Hub repository where I will be uploading it. If you don't have, you can use my image. There are a lot of images available for free on Docker Hub repository, or you can create your free account. It is free to use, right? So let me show you how can we push this image. So the command is Docker push the image and the tag, right? So this is the image colon tag, let's say V1. So I'll hit this and then it will start uploading it. Okay, friends, so now it started uploading. It is uploading all the files. It will take a couple of minutes to upload, depends on your network speed. The upload is complete here. It's saying it is completely push, right? The file is uploaded. Now what I'll do is I'll show you that in my Docker Hub repository. So this is my Docker Hub repository. I've logged in with my credentials and you see this is the Docker Hub image. So this is a repository name Modi Power 8126 and this is the image name and we can see that image you can go to a tag it will show you the command to pull this image docker pull this is the repository name and this is the image name and this is a tag now we will use this docker image in our google cloud run service right okay so now let me take you to the google cloud run console and show you how can we deploy this container image into a Google Cloud? Right, friends? Friends, before we proceed in this video, I request you to subscribe this channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I am creating a lot of quality videos on programming, coding concepts, design pattern and design principles, cloud and container technologies, but I'm not getting subscribers. I request you to like, share and subscribe this channel so that I can grow a Code One Digest family. Thank you. So now I have logged in into my Google Cloud console. This is the Google Cloud console and this is my login. And here there are a lot of services available in Google Cloud that we can use as a compute service. In this tutorial, what I'm going to show you is the Cloud Run. Search for Cloud Run service and it will be showing up here you have to select this cloud run serverless for containerized application select that you will be taken to the cloud run console so here this is your cloud run console i don't have any service running okay so now what i'll do is i'll create a new service and will deploy our containerized image in cloud run service so this is a serverless service provided by google cloud it is very similar to fargate that you use in aws cloud right friends so click on this create service button yes now 
there is a form here that we have to provide certain information so the container image url the very first thing it asks is the container image url here we have to provide a our container image url okay friends so here is the format of our image url so we have to give a docker io then repo name and then image name colon tag so in the same way i have prepared it docker.io modi power 8126 is the repo name node hello world app in docker is the image name and v1 is the tag so copy this you can create the url as per your repository name as per your image name and take tag name right so copy this now i'll paste that image here right so this is the url of the image i have provided so it is detecting that this is the service name node hello world api docker and these are region selected automatically by google i am not changing it if you want you can change the region also so there are a lot of region options available here but i am not changing it authentication so here in authentication i am allowing all the requests unauthenticated because this is just a demo right if you are doing for production then you can create authorization method so that you are allowing the request only to based on iam then cpu allocation pricing cpu is only allocated during the request is processing right so as this is not a production and this is just a demo application so i want cpu to be allocated only when the request is processing otherwise it will deallocate the resources it will save my cost but in production let's say if you are expecting continuous traffic to come and you don't want any kind of latency in your request so select option cpu is always allocated then it will charge you accordingly but here i am saying cpu is only allocated during the request processing because this is just a demo application this is done and auto scaling you can give the number whatever you want based on your traffic conditions it will auto scale but i am not doing it here because this is just a demo application now in ingress control i am saying allow direct access to your service from internet so i am saying all right otherwise you can say allow traffic from your project shared vpc or vpc service control as this is a demo application so i am selecting all it will allow all once you have done all this just say create it will be creating a resources for you so let's see it will take couple of minutes for your service to be up and running okay friends so the deployment is complete and we have successfully deployed our containerized image into google cloud run service right so here is our service which is running up and running you can see the status of the service right so the service is up and running this is the url to access the service what we will do is i'll copy this url and we will hit and validate it let me copy that okay i am testing the endpoint our hello world api in incognito mode of my browser this is the local host api that we tested in the beginning of our tutorial i'll be pasting url here that we have copied from there and just hit it right so yes i am getting a response hello world here we can open a new tab as well and i'll paste it here and hit it yes so i am getting hello world response that means my api is working fine hello world api is working fine in google cloud run service oh wow that is really that's amazing if we go back to the google console here you can see the logs of your application as well by clicking on the logs this is a log of your application this is all the requests that we have requested from the browser you see these are request you can also see the detail logging of your application in log explorer so by clicking on this button right this button will take you to a log explorer and that is very similar to cloudwatch service in aws right the way you have cloudwatch in aws where you can do lot of logging operation dashboard creation and alerting same way all those features are available in the log explorer let me show you that so on click of that it will be loading a logs 
of this application in log explorer and we can see all the logins here right do you see this this is a login and there is a text box here query box where we can filter the logs based on our condition so it is very flexible and very similar to cloudwatch we can do alerting monitoring and also create dashboard on all this logging so just remember log explorer is very similar to the cloudwatch in aws this is not rocket science we will be covering log explorer in detail in some other tutorial okay friends but just to summarize we have successfully deployed our containerized hello world api in google cloud run service wow that's amazing right friends so i hope you like this video and if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and do like share and subscribe my channel to grow kudu one digest family okay friends friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you